When I was seven, my dad used to bring home games at complete random like Quake and Duke Nukem, but one day he had something special and it was a massive box. I had a look at it. It's called The Last Express. I never read anything about it, never seen it in a magazine, and a lot of people still haven't. I mean, so many don't even know it exists because the marketing team for the game walked off the job a week before its completion and because Brodobun was acquired by another company at the time and it wasn't on shelves for very long. But now it's finally available on GOG and having had the pleasure of playing it for the last 13 years, all I can say is you better get your wallet ready because you're in for one of the best games you could ever imagine. The world is changing and one does need to choose sides and sometimes things change so fast that it's hard to tell one side from the other. The Last Express is set in 1914, days before the outbreak of World War I, the Express being the Orient Express, a luxurious long-distance train service travelling from Paris to Constantinople. You play as American doctor and fugitive Robert Capp on the run from Ireland and now seeking to find his old friend Tyler. Boarding the train without a ticket, Capp locates Tyler's compartment and the only problem is, well, he's dead. Out of respect, you dispose of the body and assume his identity to hopefully find his killer. But you discover Tyler wasn't mixing with the right crowds and suddenly you're in this web. It's a brilliant story with surprise after surprise and was written by Jordan Mechner, who you might know from games like Prince of Persia. It's all about understanding what's happening on the train by listening to conversations between other characters and snooping around various compartments. Characters also have a number of subplots which add to the overall story, and it's a dangerous concoction of countries. You've got German industrialists, Russian anarchists, and Serbian nationalists, to name a few. And every time you replay it, you'll learn a little more about the characters than you didn't know before. This is a tale that's rare and intriguing, and you must know what's happening next. And one problem is... You won't understand everything the first time. I'm just admitting that from having played it so many times. I was seven, but yeah. With respect to artwork, without a doubt, Last Express is truly a unique and gorgeous game. Borrowing the style of Art Nouveau used during the period, the developers went through an utterly complex methodology for making the game, including its environments and characters. The attention to detail is phenomenal because they worked with sleeping cars from the actual Orient Express which weren't destroyed during the World Wars and recreated them as finely as possible in the game. But you know, through the network of train buffs, one of these guys in France called a friend of his in Italy who he knew was nuts about the Orient Express. He called us and told us that there was a sleeping car of the type used in the Orient Express sitting in the train yard in Athens. It had been abandoned, I guess, at that point for 50 years. That was like a very uh, important discovery for us because uh, it gave us the ability to be accurate. It functions like mist. You move from shot to shot to move around the environment. The characters were placed into the scene using rotoscoping, which Mechner used in Prince of Persia. This means they had to dress up actors, take shots of them moving in similar positions, and then incorporated them into the world using a computer. You know, we cast actors that we thought would look good when they were turned into cartoons which is a conscious selection of physical types. You know, we looked for people with strong features, features that, you know, when they were made up and turned into cartoons, you could, you could spot them coming down the corridor a mile away. The technical challenges behind that were enormous because, you know, instead of just filming a character from one angle, you have to film that character from seven or eight angles. For instance, if you walk into the uh, restaurant car, you can see somebody sitting at a table, you know, eating or talking to somebody, and if you suddenly go to the other side of it, you'll see the other view of them. Bonsoir, monsieur. We have a nice table for you here in the corner. If you will please uh, follow me. Please, monsieur. Have a seat. Oh, it's just really stunning, and when they aren't in rotoscoping mode, you'll see the characters move frame by frame, which gives more of a focus on what they're saying rather than their movements. In my opinion, this style and magnificent emphasis on every detail makes the game so unique and such a beautiful experience. It hasn't aged at all. This will undoubtedly look remarkable forever.
This is a very different kind of adventure game. The puzzles aren't physical, they're mental. You have to figure out what's happening on board, or you're a corpse. There are actually 34 ways to lose the game, some of which don't involve Kath receiving steel to his gut. The primary goal though is to make the journey from Paris to Constantinople and discover what happened to Tyler. If you lose, there's no need to worry. Just like in Sands of Time, you can actually rewind the game to any point where you progressed in fact. Most of the time it will automatically rewind to a point where everything was correct. Ultimately, you have to survive this journey, and to do it, you'll have to gather information and some items. Snooping around other people's compartments and through their belongings becomes almost natural. Eavesdropping is also an excellent idea, as you may receive hints about where to look next. The events of the game happen in real time, where about one minute of our time translate to six minutes of game time. Characters move about the train on routines which adjust themselves according to your own actions. If I just show you an example of a routine here. Deuxième service. Le dîner est servi dans le wagon restaurant. Dinner is served in the restaurant car. Ça sent mauvais. Assieds-toi, François. François, assieds-toi tranquillement. Tu es au restaurant maintenant, avec des adultes, et j'exige que tu te comportes. Claude, dis-tu de s'asseoir convenablement. Claude. And you can expect this sort of behavior the entire game, from people dining in the restaurant car to conductors making beds for the night, and that's what I really love about The Last Express. It's quite literally like you're there, it's immersive. The only quarrels I have about the gameplay are a few bugs and maybe the lack of routines in action during the concert event of the game. Sound is a crucial element to this game. Just listen to the noise of the train. This combined with the feeling of movement as the environment shakes around really gets into your mind. You are on this train whether you like it or not. And one of the things I really love to do is sit down in the dining car and listen to people talk and hear the train in motion. Seriously, just try it if you get the game. Lunch is served. Shall we sit here? I think this will be more comfortable, don't you? I have eaten so much I could just lie down on one of these couches and go to sleep. The voice acting is quite a treat because you've got all these different nationalities in play. You might pick up a few new words in French or Russian as characters chat to one another and subtitles appear. It has a good balance between those languages and English. Regarde ce beau jeune homme qui vient d'entrer. Ça fait. Ne t'inquiète pas, on peut pas comprendre c'est un américain. Si on ne regarde pas, il ne saura jamais que c'est de lui qu'on parle. Good Lord. I can't shut the hell up about this game. When I was seven and I didn't have much of a clue what was happening, I was still blown away. And now that I've grown older, the respect and love that I have for this game has only increased. Call it bias if you will, but I strongly believe you're missing out on an integral adventure game and quite possibly one of the finest creations ever to grace this industry. The Last Express is just one journey you won't want to end. I love it so much. You didn't happen to find the dynamite, did you? Dynamite? What dynamite? 